The man suspected of opening fire on a highway in Kentucky sent a text message vowing to kill a lot of people less than 30 minutes before he shot and wounded five people on Interstate 75, authorities said in an arrest warrant. Searchers have been combing the rugged, hilly area near London, a small city south of Lexington. Authorities vowed to keep up their relentless pursuit in the densely wooded area as local residents are worried about where the shooter might turn up next. The first Friday concert series in Morristown usually can be found at the Farmer's Market, but for September's concert, it found itself at the Great Lawn at Fulton Hill Park. The School of Rock Band out of Knoxville kicked off the show with its young prodigies, providing an energetic show and weathered soul headlining a hard-rocking spectacle that delighted the audience. With two full stores and one neighborhood market, Walmart is Morristown's biggest retailer and one of its largest employers. And on Friday, the store at 4331 West Andrew Johnson Highway held a ribbon cutting on a comprehensive remodel. In the wake of a hoax threat in Jefferson County, a pair of Lakeway area school systems have been threatened via social media posts. Both Cock and Claiborne County officials have indicated they are investigating threats or screenshots of threats posted on social media. We must work diligently up front to get security in place and make sure we have all schools safe. We have an SRO present in every school and have called in extra officers today to provide extra support, the Cock County Sheriff's Office said in a release. The Newport Police Department is also assisting our agency in sending their officers to our schools that are close to the city limits to provide more resources and support. The release indicated that officials are working with various agencies to gather more information about the postings. It's been 23 years since the towers fell in New York, and citizens and first responders in Hamblin County continue to prove they will never forget. On Wednesday, A stair climbers, rowing machines, and treadmills were reserved for the first annual Memorial Challenge at Morristown Landing. First responders showed up to take part in the challenge all morning long to remember the fallen. Partial proceeds from the event will be added to the Todd E. Giles Memorial Scholarship in honor of the paramedic who died responding to a call in April. In the wake of a school shooting last week in Georgia and social media threats er, hoaxes in the Lakeway area, Superintendent of Hamblin County Schools Arnold Bunch reached out to parents in an open letter Wednesday evening. Bunch assured parents that every threat will continue to be taken seriously and committed to giving more timely information to parents and other stakeholders. An ATM cash machine was taken from a Bean Station convenience store Tuesday morning. According to information received from the Bean Station Police Department, police were dispatched at 4.59 a.m. Tuesday to Harry's Marquette 32, formerly known as King's Point Shell, on US 25E near Cherokee Lake and the Olin Marshall Bridge. According to police, the key holder had called saying that the alarm was going off at the business. When police arrived at the store, a glass had been broken out of a door and the Yite ATM machine located near the front door was taken. It is not known at this time how much cash was in the ATM. The case is under investigation. Anybody having information on this robbery should call Detective Jarnigan at the Bean Station Police Department at 865-993-5155 or your local law enforcement agency. Thanks for watching this edition of Lakeway Now. Subscribe today for weekly Lakeway area content here on the CT Network.